Everybody needs that one place Everybody needs a safe space Everybody needs somewhere to be with their family We all need a little nest A cozy corner where we can rest Every creature everywhere needs their own somewhere A place to call home, home A place to call home, home A place to call home Hi everybody! Welcome to our online concert celebration for my new album called A Place to Call Home. I'm Dana. I'm so excited that you came today. Thank you for joining us and helping us celebrate all my new songs. Today we're going to do some of those new songs which are all about animals and the different places they live. So I hope you're ready to do some singing and dancing and, well, Maybe even a little bit of learning about all the animals and the places they live and about how we share this one planet called Earth, the one place we all call home. So, before we do the first song, I want to introduce you to a few special friends of mine. These friends played the instruments on the album. So, the first fella I'd like you to meet is named EJ, EJ Willette. And EJ is the producer of the album. That means he kind of helped me put all the pieces together to make the songs come to life. And he played like Oh, I don't know, like maybe 11 different instruments on all the songs. He is super talented and super cool, and I'm happy to introduce you to him. Are you ready to say hi, EJ? Let's welcome him and say that. Ready? Go! Hi, EJ! Hello, everybody. My name's EJ Ouellette, and it was such a pleasure to be a part of Dana's A Place to Call Home album. We hope you love it as much as we do. Um, I played a lot of this electric guitar on the album. It sounds like this. <laughs> Thanks, EJ. Ooh, doesn't that electric guitar sound cool? The next person I'd like you to meet is Steve, Steve Baker. And Steve plays the saxophone, one of my favorite instruments. So let's say hi, Steve. Are you ready? Hi, Steve. Hi, Steve. How are you, buddy? Hey, Dana. Nice to be here today. Hi, kids. Yeah, I play the saxophone. This is what it sounds like. <laughs> Thanks, Steve. Ooh, don't you just love the way the saxophone sounds? Now I'd like you to meet Casey Favor and Clara Petri. They each played the violin on the song. I got my keyboard out because I play the keyboard or the piano on all the songs. The keyboard sounds kind of like that. And <laughs> there's a lot of that sliding in this song because this song is about beavers. It's called Let's Build a Dam. And every time that a tree falls, it's time for us to say boom, boom, bam. Can you do that with me? Get your arm out and ready and let's say boom, boom, bam. Bam! With the beavers. One, two, three. Boom, boom, bam! So whenever you see my arm go up like this, you know it's almost time to say boom, boom, bam! Okay, let's get this song going, guys. Make a lodge a home for our friends and family. We need sticks and stones, leaves and logs, mud, mud, mud to build a dam. We use our iron teeth to chew, chew, chew through big tall trees. 
song about beavers. And did you know it really is true? They are called nature's engineers. And they're called nature's engineers because they're so good at building. And they do work all night long with their friends. They're super good at teamwork. Oh, and did you ever notice that their teeth are really orange colored? That orange color in their teeth is because their teeth are filled with iron. The iron in their teeth makes them super strong so that they can chew through all those trees and logs to build their dams. So next I'd like you to meet my friend Dave. Dave Maddox plays the drums and the percussion on all the songs. Let's say hi to Dave. Hi Dave. Greetings kids. My name is Dave and I played the drums on Dana's new fab recording. I really hope that you enjoy it. And I hope your mum and dad do too. Thanks, Dave. Oh, Dave is super cool. He's played on a lot of albums with a lot of famous musicians. We like to call Dave the Beatle because he's played with a very famous Beatle named uh, Sir Paul McCartney. <laughs> super cool. Anyway, even though you might not see Dave actually banging on the drums today or popping on the percussion, you'll know he's there on every song, giving the rhythm and the beat just what we need to make the songs really go. So thanks, Dave. Okay, so the next song we're going to do is the Honey Bee Bebop, and it's all about honeybees. <laughs> Let's do a little buzz. Bzzz. Did you buzz? Let's try again. Here we go. Bzzz. Hey, I think you're going to be good at this buzzing. Oh, and I hope you're standing up because this song is all about dancing and wiggling and waggling. Because the honeybees actually do a dance called the waggle dance. And when they do the waggle dance, they kind of wiggle their bottoms back and forth like this. Can you do it? <laughs> Oh, good waggling. And when they waggle their bottoms, they're kind of pointing the other bees in the direction where they can find the best nectar and pollen to make their honey. 
So get ready for the Honey Bee Bebop. We made a special video of this song, so I hope you'll like it. I hope you'll dance and buzz along. And Steve plays a saxophone on this one too. So let's let Steve get us started. Are you ready? Here we go. Take it away, Steve. Pollinate the plants and trees Fly to the flowers Hop, hop, hop And carry the pollen with every stop Gotta get nectar for a honeycomb And bring it on back to our home sweet home Buzz, buzz, it's a honeybee Bebop, flap your wings With a flip and flop Buzz, buzz, buzz all around the hive With waggle, buzz and dive Now's your chance to do the waggle dance So we've got to take very good care of those honeybees. Oh, <laughs> that's my dog. That's my dog, Rowdy. Can you say hi, Rowdy? Hi, Rowdy. Oh, where's he going? Oh, I guess he's off looking for some bones or something. So anyway, this song is... <laughs> Rowdy! <laughs> well, I guess he found some bones. Oh, where are you going, Rowdy? I don't know. Maybe he'll come back later. Oh, don't let me forget. Maybe later we can call for him and he'll come back. So anyway, this song is all about birds and it's called Bluebird. So I thought in this song, you could help me make all the different color signs for the different color birds who are in the song. I have a very special friend who plays beautifully on this song. His name is Albert. Will you help me say hi to Albert? Here we go, say hi Albert. Ready? Hi Albert! Hi Dana, really happy to celebrate the new album with you and the kids today. So yes, I play the flute on the Bluebird song. I think the flute can sound very much like a bird. What do you think? I just love 
love that flute. And Albert really does make it sound like a bird on this Bluebird song. Hey, EJ, what are you playing on the Bluebird song? In this case, I'm playing a five-string violin, which is a combination of a viola and a violin. And um, I play the violin parts on the highest strings to make it sound more bird-like, high, higher-pitched birds. And I play the lower strings for the lower-pitched birds. So where do birds live? Right, birds live in nests. Bluebird, bluebird, pretty bluebird, how I love to hear you sing. I like to fly up in the sky. we have for you is called Underground Traffic Jam and it's all about the animals that dig tunnels and live way underground. And you know, wherever there are tunnels, there is bound to be traffic. <laughs> so get ready to do some digging with us because we made a special video of this song and we're going to need you to help us and all the animals dig, dig, dig. Here we go. Digging, 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 digging. The 
the video for the song Underground Traffic Jam. And did you hear Steve playing the saxophone and Dave rocking out on those drums? And of course, I bet you heard EJ playing the electric guitar. And I want to say a special thank you to the people at Brand Animate for drawing all those animals and helping them come to life. I think it turned out pretty cool and I hope you liked it. You can always watch it again on YouTube at my Dana's Music Playground channel. The next song is called Movin' Day. It's all about hermit crabs. Did you know that hermit crabs don't grow a shell of their own? No, they have to find an empty shell that another animal has moved out of. So hermit crabs are always looking for a new shell to call home. 
When I was learning all about hermit crabs, I found out about this special place called Caribo Key. Caribo Key is a little tiny island in the middle of the Caribbean Sea, and lots and lots of hermit crabs live there. So I thought, well, I'll write a song about one of those crabs, and her name is Hattie. And since she lives in the Caribbean, I thought I'd make her song a reggae song. Oh, and EJ plays on this one. EJ, what are you playing on this Moving Day song? I just love reggae music, Dana. And I'm so glad that you wrote a song about the hermit crabs in reggae style. And I thought the ukulele would be the perfect fit for this Looking for a hermit crab, that's me. I'm Hattie from the island of Kerry I climb on rocks on the beach by the bay, carrying a shell on my back all day. My shell is my very own mobile home. I carry it with me wherever I roam. But I don't grow a shell on my own, you see. Gotta find me an empty with a vacancy. Every day is moving day. A hermit crab's always looking for another. Recycling crew to us an old shell feels brand new when snails and clams have left and gone their shells give us a new home to try on this shell I'm wearing is starting to pinch I think I might have grown a half an inch it's time to molt deep under the sand while I groove to the sound of a steel drum band every day is moving day a hermit crab's always looking for a Say bye, Hattie. Bye, Hattie from Carrie Vokey. <laughs> hey, and thank you. Thanks to EJ for playing that ukulele so nicely on that one. Hey, if you want to learn more about hermit crabs, and, well, more about all the animals we're singing about today, check out my website at danasmusicplayground.com. There you'll find lots of fun animal activity sheets with all kinds of cool stuff about the animals that I couldn't fit into the songs. So check it out. The next song is called Migration. 
and it's all about humpback whales. Ooh, humpback whales are super, super cool. And they're so cool, we thought we'd make a video of this song so that you can see the whales jumping up out of the water and swimming under the water. Oh, I'm going to stop telling you about it and just show you the whales. Here's our video of the song, Migration. Hey everyone, today we're going to learn about humpback whales. Did you know that they swim all the way from down south in Hawaii, up north to Alaska, and back again every year? When they make these big trips between their winter and summer homes, it's called migration. It's been a nice long summer up in Glacier Bay with the Alaskan sun. Fading away, snow and ice are bringing a chill, and the humpback whales have had their fill of fish and krill. They've been eating all summer, and their bellies are full. Now the whales are feeling that natural pull to head down south to sing their song. Winter in Hawaii. twice a year. It takes determination to make it to their destination, to their winter home. The whales say hello to a passing ship with a breach and a blow and a fancy flip. The planet guides them with gravitation. They follow the sun for navigation. The whales know in the mouth. Whales come together and blow a bubble net and scoop a ton of fish without breaking a sweat. The whales know how to blow. It's another summer up in Glacier Bay. They'll stay until the sun starts fading away. When snow and ice start bringing a chill and they've had their fill of fish and krill.
Aren't those humpback whales just awesome? I think I could watch them all day and never get tired of it. I want to say a special thank you to Connor Gallagher of NomadIsland.com. He shot a lot of that cool footage of the whales. And thank you to my dear friend Michael Deerland of Deerland Productions. He put all that video together for me. And oh, of course, thank you to my friends at Franklin Academy in Bellingham, Washington. So, oh, I was going to remember something. Uh, what was it? Oh, what was I going to remember? Oh! Right! We've got a call for my dog, Rowdy. Will you help me call for him? Okay, on the count of three, we'll all yell Rowdy as loud as we can. Here we go. One, two, three, Rowdy! I don't see him. Hmm. Oh, maybe EJ's seen him. Hey, EJ, have you seen Rowdy? No, Dana, I haven't seen Rowdy. Rowdy! Rowdy! Here, boy! He's not here. Hmm. Maybe Steve's seen him. Hey, Steve, have you seen Rowdy? Sorry, Dana, I haven't seen Rowdy around here. <whistles> Rowdy! Rowdy, come! <whistles> nope, not here. Maybe Albert's seen him. Hey, Albert, have you seen Rowdy? Nope. No sign of Rowdy here. Hmm. Maybe we better call for him one more time. Super loud this time, everybody. Here we go. One, two, three. Rowdy! Oh, I still don't see him. What? You see him? Where? Oh, over there? I don't see him over there. Oh, <laughs> over here. No, he's not over here either. What do you mean? Oh, behind me? Are you sure he's behind me? He is not behind me. Are you trying to fool me? I, 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 oh, I, I, <laughs> Rowdy. Here he is. Rowdy. Everybody say hi, Rowdy. You silly dog, Rowdy. You know, I had to write a song all about him and his favorite place to sleep. Here it is. It's called Dog on My Head. I have got a dog. His name is Rowdy. I love him and he loves me. My doggy is stuck to me like glue. Wherever I go, Rowdy goes too. He always comes when I ask him to stay. He's right at the door when I get home each day. And every night when I'm trying to sleep, he's right on my head in a big giant heap. It's hard to sleep with the dog on your head. I built mine a house with his very own bed. I tuck him in tight in his house every night. But by midnight he's back, right on the dot, right in the spot, on top of my head. So I got him some fluffy feathery pillows, a nice cozy blanket and a nightlight that glows. I left extra bones for a late night snack. He'll sleep in his house. Oh wait, he's back. It's hard to sleep with a dog on your head. So I built mine a house with his very own bed. I tuck him in tight in his house every night. But by midnight he's back. Right on the dot. Right in the spot. On top of my head. When I got him a comfy rocking chair. His own cuddly teddy bear. I put up some curtains to keep out the light, hoping he'll sleep in his own bed tonight. He's back! It's hard to sleep with a dog on your head, so I built mine a house with his very own bed. I tuck him in tight in his house every night, but by midnight he's back, right on the dot, yep, right in the spot. On top of my head, oh, oh Rowdy. I painted the ceiling with pictures of sheep. 
I taught him to count them while falling asleep. I sang lullabies, tried aromatherapy, but there's only one place Rowdy wants to be. So I guess I'll get used to this weight on my head. And let the cats move into the doghouse instead. Meow. My dog's got a home and a pillow already. And I've got a best friend. His name is Rowdy. But it's hard to sleep with a dog on your head. So I built mine a house with his very own bed. I tuck him in tight in his house every night. But by midnight, he's back. Right on the dot. Right in the spot. On top of my head. Oh, Rowdy, get off my head. Everybody say bye, Rowdy. Bye, Rowdy. Bye, Rowdy. <laughs> bye, Rowdy. Oh, I do love that silly doggy. So I got my keyboard out again because I think we have time for one more song today. There's actually three more songs on the A Place to Call Home album, and you can find them at um, iTunes, Spotify, Amazon, DanaTunes.com, and of course at my website, which is DanasMusicPlayground.com. There's one song called Animal Hide and Seek. It's kind of like a game with the animals. I think you'll have fun with that one. And the other one is called Rainforest Symphony. It's got all kinds of beautiful sounds of the animals who live in the rainforest. So I hope you'll check those out. But before we do the last song today, I just want to take just a minute to say a huge thank you to all the musicians who played on these songs and made them so awesome. So thank you so much to Steve Baker and Albert Lamar, Dave Maddox, Casey Favor, Clara Petrie. Oh, and of course, thank you to all the kids who sang so beautifully on all the songs and the kids who were in the videos too. And Thank you to Brand Animate and Michael Deerland of Deerland Productions for helping me do the videos. They came out pretty awesome, don't you think? <laughs> and of course, thank you to Emily Zimmerman. She is the one who painted all the beautiful artwork for the album cover. It turned out beautifully, so thank you so much, Emily. Did an awesome job. And thank you to Gail Luce, who is also Besides being my graphic artist and doing an awesome job on the graphics, she's also my dear, wonderful sister. Thank you, Gail. I love you and I appreciate you. A special shout out to Shane Pender for helping all the musicians do their footage of, and, sh and helping me uh, in the studio when we were recording. He's an assistant engineer and he was awesome too. Thank you, Shane. And thank you to Beth Blends Klukas. She's my publicist from Sugar Mountain PR and she helps me get the word out about all the, all the music. Okay, now I don't want to cry because this person next has done so much to help me. This fella is one of the most special people in my life. He happens to be my son, Jack. Jack Cohenauer. He is the one, <laughs> he is the one behind the camera today and the one who edited all this together. He is amazing and I'm so proud of him. Jack is heading off to film school in the fall at Chapman University and I couldn't be more proud. So thank you, Jack. I love you. And I could not do any of this without my wonderful, supportive, loving, and precious husband, Jason. Thank you. Thank you, Jason. Couldn't do any of this without you, and I appreciate it so much. Thank you. And whoo, before I cry, I probably am crying already. Thank you from the bottom of my heart to E.J. Willett. E.J. poured his heart and soul into this project, and I could not be more grateful. EJ, it has been a pleasure from day one to this day, and I know we have a lot more music to make together in the future. Oh, and EJ wanted to say bye to you too. EJ? Dana, thank you so much. It was such fun being a part of this project and creating the music for all these beautiful songs that you wrote. I sure hope, and I think they will, the kids are going to love this album. And uh, for me and the team here at Home Music Studios, just love this. Thank you so much for inviting us. 
Thanks, EJ. I love you, buddy. Oh, and of course, thank you. Thank you for coming and helping us celebrate today. Helping us celebrate the new album, A Place to Call Home. I hope you liked the songs, and I hope you learned a little bit about the animals today. And I hope you'll remember to take care of the animals and take care of each other and this beautiful planet, the planet Earth, the one place we all call home. So here's the very last song for today. It's called Home. It could be a cabin on a lake A warm and cozy place where we awake A small apartment stories high or a castle that seems taller than the sky it could be a barn out on a farm a place that keeps us safe away from harm it could be a tree
to call.